Hey everyone, welcome back to Julie's Wig World. Today I'm going to talk a little bit on permatease. What it is and what do we do about it? Do we like it or do we hate it? Everyone has their own opinion on it. I love it in certain kinds of wigs and in other kinds of wigs, no, 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 do not want the permatease. It can be your friend or your foe. So what is permatease? Permatease is very short, wiry fibres that are at the base of the wig. Now this wig I'm wearing has no permatease, so it lays very flat to my scalp and it's extremely hard to get any volume up here with the fibres. So if I'm going out and I want volume in my hair, I put on a wig that has permatease in it because permatease is short for permanent teasing. And we all know what teasing is. That's where you pull your hair up and you back comb it vigorously and then you lay it back over the top to try to get some volume and height to the top of your hair. Now this beautiful wig is Angelica by Noriko and quite often Noriko wigs do have permatease. Now I love this wig but when I first got her out of the box the permatease was extremely nesty and it was looking like this. Now I worked on that wig and I reduced that permatease. But you can see here in this picture that the permatease gives Angelica some fantastic height on the top of the head. And as we get older, ladies, it's really great to add some height to the top of your head. It really gives us a much more youthful appearance. If you're new to wig wearing, quite often you will prefer a wig that doesn't have permatease in it because it can create a lot more volume than perhaps you're used to. But later on in your wig journey, you might really crave a bit of volume up top as you get used to wearing a different density of hair than what you've been previously used to. And permatease is a really great way to quickly change up your look. So here's Angelica by Noriko, and as you can see, she has a lot more volume up top than what the previous wig has that I was just wearing. Now that is due to the permatease. Now the way that I've found for myself to fix the permatease on my wigs so far is to draw the fibres back as most of the permatease usually is around the crown. Now by doing that, I've covered over that nesty area with the nice, long, smooth fibres. Now for me, that works really well. Now there are some YouTube videos out there by some other really creative ladies who have done a lot of experimentation and I'll put a list of some of their websites down below. They have tamed their permatees with a hot air comb and a few other methods. Now I haven't tried that because most of my wigs are not heat resistant and that's really important. If your wig is not heat resistant, then you have to be very careful about trying some of these methods. Another thing you can do to tame that permatease is pop it up in a half updo because that's gonna cover up naturally all of that permatease but you're going to get the benefit of the permatease in giving you that volume. So always try a half updo. And if all else fails and you just don't know what to do but you still want to get the value out of that wig, put on a funky hat. Nobody's going to know that there's permatease under there. Well maybe not as extreme as this hat but you do get my drift. Experiment and be creative we can always find a solution. But you can still go outside, not feel uncomfortable and have a great time. And I encourage you to explore and look up permatees and see how other YouTubers have tamed their permatees. I love reading your comments. They're really encouraging and inspiring and I'm learning a lot from you as well. So keep those comments coming. Thanks for joining me on Julie's Wig World and YouTube will have another video specifically selected for you.